have made it to Ascot under Witchwood for the B90. Um, hoping for a clear cross country today so we can um, qualify for the hundreds. Um, Ruff's feeling pretty good today. He's just munching on some grass. We just walked across country and it's got a few technical things like a few steps. Uh, the water's got a, combi a jump before it and a jump out of it. Um, but there isn't a ditch or anything which is good. Um, and the show jumping seems to be causing a little bit of problems. Um, quite a few people have time faults because it's quite a large arena. Um, but yes, today we're just aiming for a clear cross country. Right, so welcome back to another YouTube video. Here you'll watch mine and Ruffian's dressage test. Um, he warmed up beautifully, it was quite a crowded warm up space, um, lots of horses. Um, this dressage test I wouldn't have said was our best to date, but my aim for this test was to keep him nice and active. It was quite hard on the ground, so he had four studs in um, to stop him from tripping over. Um, it was a very symmetrical test again with two three loop serpentines which you're seeing the first of two. Ruffians managed to keep nice and balanced throughout all three loops. He does have a tendency to swing his quarters out um, but he did keep nice and supple and he kept the tempo really well. Going into our first canter he was a little bit hesitant, um, not exactly off my leg how I wanted him um, and he poked his nose up a little bit but he recovered well and started on a 20 meter circle at B. Um, again, a nice forward canter, he has a nice bounce to it. Um, and you can sort of see the arena was on a bit of a downhill slope, which made that downwards trot transition very difficult. Um, and it, it wasn't very pretty, but again, he recovered well. And then going into the walk, I personally thought he was quite lazy in this walk. Um, he didn't have too much of a march on him. He's got quite a nice walk, so I was a bit gutted. And you can see me sort of kicking him on, and he wasn't really stretching and giving me too much to work with. But this dressage test was quite weirdly worded, because at M we had to do working trot. Um, so within the free walk and a long rein, you had to gather your reins up and then pop him into trot. And then at C, starting our second three-loop serpentine, I believe this one was slightly better. Um, yeah, he had a very nice frame throughout the dressage test, I thought. Um, it was just, however, in a few upwards and downwards transitions, he just occasionally pokes his nose out. But this canter transition coming up was very smooth. Bearing in mind there was a, another horse walking past in that corner, I was really pleased that he kept his concentration. And then again on the left canter, circle at B, 20 metres, um, he kept a nice frame, kept a good tempo, Again, a little bit downhill and uphill, but he stayed nice and balanced, and I believe this downwards trot, again, he just pokes his nose up, but then cracks on with the job. And then, really unfortunately, he has a really nasty little tumble in that corner. Didn't phase him too much, he had a bit of a quick trot across the diagonal. Um, he just lost his footing totally, um, which was just really super unlucky. And then turning up the centre line... Just trying to keep him nice and balanced for our final halt, which wasn't our best. He wouldn't really stand, he was a bit fidgety, but I think he just lost focus after that stumble. Scoring a 29.5. Right, so we've just done the dressage, already changed over for show jumping. Um, dressage wasn't our best. Uh, we had a slip over coming over the diagonal at the end and his transitions were a bit rusty. Um, so yeah, not feeling too great after that, but hopefully a nice, clear show jumping, and then on to the cross country. Right, so this is probably the funniest show jumping course I've ever jumped on rough to date. Um, after the second fence, you can see he just totally lost the plot, um, <laughs> and was like a little kangaroo. Um, I don't really know why he decided to do that, but, um, this particular show jumping course was quite, um, a large arena, so you had plenty of time in between the fences to sort of dilly-daddle and um, lose time, and you have to get inside the optimum time for show jumping, otherwise, same as cross-country, you get time faults. So after his little wobbly moment, I really kicked him on and almost treated this whole round as a jump-off, um, because I didn't want any time faults. Luckily, he kept them all up and actually did quite a nice round in the end, um, but I was really confused as to why he sort of 
bolted back to the warm-up. Um, he wasn't napping, it was almost like he just wouldn't turn right. But you can just see here, coming to the last, I'm sort of kicking. Um, and then I ask him just to balance, and we jump a very nice clear with no time faults, surprisingly. Right, so we just done the show jumping. I don't really know what happened after fence two. He just veered left. Um, but we stayed clear and we did get any time faults which was surprising because lots of people were getting time faults and obviously had a bit of a detour around the show jumping arena um, so I actually put my leg on and treated it as a jump off which seemed to work um, now a quick change over to cross country and fingers crossed for a safe, hopefully clear, um, inside the time Ascot under Witchwood was an absolutely beautiful cross country course. Um, Ruff and I really had a lovely time going around. Sadly, we hit, picked up 1.6 time faults, I believe, um, just for going too quickly. But in this level, I don't like to fiddle around with him too much because he, he's really enjoying himself. However, this speedy cross country round sadly did cost us the win. So we've just finished up the day. Uh, Ruff did a beautiful clear cross country. He was way too quick again. <laughs> He's really enjoying his cross country, so I try not to fiddle too much with his speed. Um, it's nice he went double clear today. Um, he, I think he got 3.4 time pots for being too quick. It was a really lovely course actually. It was quite technical. Um, and yeah, I was surprised with the dressage mark that I did get. Um, I thought last week's dressage test was better. But the judge obviously liked him today, um, even with the trip. And then show jumping was interesting. I don't really know what happened, um, but really pleased with this cross country. It's really hilly here, so I was quite surprised to be too quick again. Oh my gosh, Ruff, where are you going? He says I've had enough. <laughs> um, but yeah, very pleased with him today. And I think we finished second, so very pleased. Seen today wearing my DVR cream jumpers, um, they're super soft, really comfy and really good for this really hot heat that we had today. Um, so yeah, I shall link them down below in the description. Yeah, really pleased with him. And then our next event is at Stratford Hills and that will be Ruff's first ever affiliated hundred. So we're just prepping for that now and I'm rambling, but that's me all basically what I wanted to say. And yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.